this is going to be a short and sweet video. Now, about this DZ41 display. It is total garbage. Uh, I would definitely not recommend putting them on uh, uh, any BBS HD series engines or motor, whatever you want to pronounce them as. Uh, because here's what happened. When I plugged it up, it took out my controller. The moment I plugged it to it, it sparked, took out the controller. Then uh, replacing the controller today, I found out it also took out my throttle control. Luckily, I had extras of those as well. What it took out in this controller, I do not know. It was dead shorted on uh, the display line. So I'm assuming something on the main line is toasted. <coughs> and this was during the era when these displays, I mean these uh, controllers, didn't have a fuse in the main line, in the main uh, battery line, uh, these these particular uh, controllers. This controller was from Luna Cycles, which I would never recommend buying anything from them at all. Uh, I had to get PayPal to make them give me another controller because, uh, you know, only after um, a month of normal use, the controller went bad, so PayPal went ahead and bought me another controller. But these particular controllers uh, do not have a fuse in the line like the older ones did. Uh, I have one of the good older ones that has the fuse in the line. See, right here, here's an older version of it. See, it has the fuse right in the main line. These new ones do not. So there's basically no kind of protection unless you put one in yourself. So that's what this display did. It took this thing out because it didn't have that fusible link in the middle. Uh, and the throttle, as of today, I just figured out that it took the throttle control out as well. So uh, I just cut the thing off and keep the ends. You never know. You might need one of these ends. You never know. So this is a DZ41, people. Don't buy it. Don't waste your money on it. There's absolutely no short circuit protection in it whatsoever. None. It's garbage. These ones, on the other hand, this is called the BL181. I can't find them anymore. I wished I could uh, find them again. But uh, I don't know who actually makes them. That's just the model that I got, the BL181. I had purchased three of these. Uh, about five or six years ago, and uh, they, they were fantastic. Uh, the only thing that's wrong with this display is the speedometer circuit on it doesn't work. It just doesn't read your miles per hour and your trip. Uh, it just, everything else seems to function perfectly fine. It's just the speedometer and it uh, pops up with an error 30 code which is a communication error so that tells me there's something wrong in the display itself i've tried it on several bikes and uh, it's the same error code pops up every time using this but it's a good uh it's it's good for testing uh uh controllers though it's still good for that that's why i haven't thrown it away because it still actually works that's the one i used when um when this one uh, toasted my controller I plugged this one up because this one actually has a built-in circuit to protect it from a dead short. This one does not. It's the DZ41. It's garbage. Uh, no wonder it's so damn cheap. Uh, $28. Uh, these ones were $31 back in the day when I purchased them, but I can't seem to find them anymore. I really like this display. 
Uh, it gives you everything that a BBS HD would do in fully programmable nine pedal assist, five, three, one, however you want to do it. If you've ever programmed uh, BBS HD or a BBS 02B, BBS 01, or the Fang Ultra G510, uh, you know, uh, or, it's, or otherwise known as the M620 uh, mid drive motors, um, this will work on all of them. So uh, that's why I wanted another one, uh, at least at least one more for my Ultra uh, after my new uh, controller for it comes in. So uh, just giving you an update on the DZ41 garbage display. And the company says, oh, they'll send me a new display. Big deal. The display is cheap. This is what costs the money. And they said, oh, we'll give you a discount because, it, you know, burn it up. $20. What a joke. That company, uh, oh, by the way, I got the display from greenbikekits.com. So uh, just letting you know, the DZ41 displays that they sell, do not have any kind of short circuit protection on them. Uh, you know, I have ordered parts from them in the past, and they've come through with flying colors every single time. But when they uh, kind of mocked me on, you know, giving me a $20 discount on a brand new $150 controller because their display shorted out and took out my controller and my throttle, come on, are you joking me? That, that's that's utter, an insult to my intelligence. So um, just be weary of uh, who you buy them from. And if they're, uh, if it is the DZ41, uh, I don't know if the DZ43 or the DZ40 has any kind of short circuit protection in them. I do not know because I have never tried those. And I didn't want a large display. A DZ43 is a much larger display. It's almost like four inches across or three and a half inches across and like two inches tall. That's like a DZ43 display. Really nice looking display though, but you know, it's, it's, it's too large for me. I wanted a small one, but the DZ40 is just too small. It's almost the same shape as the egg rider. Uh, these are also known as uh, SW102 or 103. I think these are also known as, uh, I looked them up, and they popped up as that number as well. But the main primary number is the DZ41. So keep in mind who you buy them from. They are not uh, short circuit protected in any way, shape, or form. But make sure your controller is. If it is not, add it. Add a fuse in the main line. Uh, it'll probably save you a headache later on. Okay, I hope this helps somebody. Have a good day.